Have you ever read blogs like mine, neilpatel.com, or Backlinko and being like, wow, these guys write amazing, awesome content. Why can't I create content like that? You know all those naysayers out there saying you can't do it? I don't care if you have terrible grammar and spelling like me, you can do it. If I can, everyone can. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna share with you of what makes an awesome blog post. So here are some of the things that you need to know if you wanna write amazing and awesome blog posts. The first thing that makes a great one is a conversational tone. If you're writing with the words you and I, you're creating a conversation with the reader. They'll feel a connection with you, they're more likely to engage, and your content's gonna come out way better. The second thing you need to know is all about the headline. Eight out of 10 people will read your headline, but only two out of 10 will click through and read the rest. If your headline sucks, no one's gonna read your content, and then even if you wrote amazing posts, no one's gonna know about it. So how do you know if your content, more so your headline, is amazing or is gonna be amazing? You go to BuzzSumo, you type in keywords from your space, and you'll see what's popular. That'll give you ideas of what works and what doesn't. You can go to Reddit, you can go to Twitter, you can go to those sites and see what's working in your space, but BuzzSumo aggregates all the main social networks and they do all the work for you. The third thing is a blog post that's educational, one that teaches, goes above and beyond where someone reads it and they're like, hmm, I know now what to do. This post laid it all for me step by step. That's amazing content. But if you read something, if I said, here's 10 ways to double your traffic, and you read it, and you're just like, oh, how do I grow my traffic? These concepts seem cool, but I'm lost. What do I do? That would suck, and you don't want that. You want something that educates and is actionable. When people read it, and they're like, oh my God, Neil has amazing information, and I am satisfied after I read it, and I know what to do next. The fourth tip I have for you is, Write content that is trendy, up to date. People don't want to read regurgitated information. Sure, you don't have to leverage the latest trend, but write new stuff. Don't write stuff that's 10 years old. That may have been amazing 10 years from now, but people have moved on. Technology, time has changed. Make sure your content is up to date. The fifth tip I have for you is, Leverage different media formats, from images to infographics to podcasts to videos. Not everyone is text-based readers. Your blog posts don't just have to be filled with text. Include images or infographics that tell your story. Include videos that help get your message across. Include audio clips. By doing all of this, it'll make your content more amazing. And the last tip I have for you is cite your sources. You don't know everything, I don't know everything, and that's okay. We're all here to learn more. I can learn a lot, and I don't want to ever be the person who's the smartest person in the room. I want to be the person who's the dumbest one in the room. That way I can learn more. So when you're writing your content, and you're researching, and you're trying to prove your points and back up your claims, make sure you link to other people who have already done the research and cited this information, right? So then that way when you cite them and you give them credit, it helps make you more reputable, and it shows people that you did your homework. It's okay if you don't know everything. Use Google to research search all the stuff that you don't know so that way you can make your blog post way more thorough. Once you follow all those tips, your content will be way more amazing.